Hello and welcome back to my studio. Now if you've taken one of the free courses that I offer in my videos, you'll have discovered a technique that I attach a lot of importance to. It's basically a technique called a no-tan drawing and artists use it to prepare and study the subject before they start painting. Now I'm going to show you how I use this technique for a painting of some figures in a landscape. Let's have a look at how this works out. Now you may think that the Notan drawings and uh, Notan thumbnail sketches that I do only relates to a landscape, but it relates to any subject. And in my free course, which you can find up here or in the description, I will get the basics of a Notan demonstrated for you so you can see exactly why I use this technique. But did you know you could also use this for painting figures? Well, the way I look at it is figures in a landscape is a landscape with figures. All right, if you know what I mean by that, it'll become clear as I do the demonstration. Now, no tan drawings are excellent for working out your composition. And this is the primary thing I'm trying to teach for beginner painters. But there's another beautiful part of the no tan drawing as well, and that is figuring out the light and dark. And that helps you determine the light filled nature of a painting. So often beginners will do a painting and it all is drawn quite well, but are not really describing light. And you end up with a very middle value kind of painting. Now no tans help you figure out the extreme darks, extreme lights, and some of those middle values as well. But you've got that light dark contrast, which creates a light filled painting. So let's have a look at this reference quickly and I'll show you exactly what attracted me to the scene. And then I'll give you a short version of the demonstration. But I want to add an extended version to this free course as well. So if you haven't joined it as yet, do so straight after this video or do it right now and then come back to the video. And uh, let's see how this painting worked out. All right, let's start off with the no tan study. Just creating the little format and uh, landscape format that I'm thinking of. And then getting the darkest dark. And now this is for me the, the key of this entire composition is the link between the standing figure, the light head against that dark background. Right, that is very important. Then I'm putting in a middle value dark shape which will be the rose bushes in the foreground and then middle value light which will be the figures. Now the extreme light I'll leave the grass catching direct sunlight that will be the lightest light. Now this gives me an idea of the composition also where I want the lights and darks to go and of course the shadows so I'm adding those shadows in now, very important as well, to create a light fold painting. So the composition I think is quite strong. Perhaps I would like to have three figures, but I think these will do because of the arrangement of the figures. So you could go straight into the painting based on your note and study, but I'm doing a rough sketch just to show you the unfolding of this composition. And of course you can still do a sketch once you've got an idea of your composition from the no tan in place. Nothing wrong with adding a sketch to help you get started with your painting. All right, so you've got the idea, you've demonstrated it in your mind with the basic value structure. And uh, now set it out on your canvas and get ready for the painting stage. So quite simple really and a few little added things are the, the garden fork as well I think adds another vertical element. So we've got the vertical of the figure intersecting with the dark background and some diagonal lines 
linking the right bottom right with the the figure on the left the lines of the the garden and the the dark at the back so let's get started so based on that note hand structure i want to start with the extreme dark get that whole background painted in as quickly as possible with ultramarine a bit of deep yellow also ultramarine and some burnt sienna as well and basically just get that dark background in there are a few lighter shapes those sort of topiary trees in the background which i think actually add a nice balancing element to the composition kind of taking the place of another figure perhaps just getting a, that vertical shape so we can block that in fairly quickly with mostly ultramarine and some of that yellow a little bit of cerulean blue as well i'm using oils but you can use acrylics and you'll get the exact same result a little bit of color coming in as well a bit of orange You know, those tree shapes, those sort of triangular tree shapes at the back, I think also add, as I said, kind of a balance to the figures. Just a bit of interest as well. I might just push those colors back a little, but for the time being, keeping them fairly light. So there we've got that juxtaposition of the light against dark holding the entire composition together. Right, now I'm going to put in the extreme lights. That is the light grass. And slightly cooler at the back, adding more yellow as I bring it forward. But in essence, it still remains the lighter slight, and I'm going to use that to cut in a bit and help define the position of the figures. So we've got the light on the, the head of that figure. And then the face is basically just a light and dark shape for the light and shadow. And that's the important thing to remember with figures, as I said, figures are part of a landscape and they are in fact simply shapes of light and dark. Like any other object in the landscape, they must be treated as such to harmonize with the landscape. You don't want your figures looking like they've been stuck on. They are part of the landscape. You've got to have hard edges, soft edges, so your figures merge in as well. So I've changed the format a little because I wanted it a bit more square and allow a little more room in the foreground. Something that I should have considered right from the beginning, but uh, as you work with this, it is, of course, just a sketch and an exploration of the, the subject. And you can come back to it and do a, another version and a third version and really get to know your, your subject. So that's more or less coming together. The full version you can see in the free course. But uh, now you can see the, the end result as well. Okay, there it is, a quick sketch in oil paints of these figures in a landscape. But I hope it looks like a light filled and sunny landscape as well. Even though the figures are drawn in a very loose fashion and painted very loosely, you can still get a sense of these figures working in strong directional sunlight. And that's what attracts me to the scene. And what helps me see these shapes and the light is many years of doing note hand studies and the, I tend to just see the the landscapes now in those lights and darks 
and immediately I can spot the potential for an impactful painting. Now if this all seems to make sense to you and you think there's a lot of possibility for you, I take this further in a course called Learn to Paint with Impact and that's my big foundational course. The one that I built my painting on and so many other artists have taken the course as well and learned how to make their paintings so more light filled. All right, so you can look into that as well, but for now, but for now, why don't you check out the free course and get an idea of how to use Notans for more impactful and light filled paintings. Okay, until next time, happy painting and cheers for now.